Hey guys, I'm Jenny and welcome back to Big Oak Homestead. On today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I organize all my seeds. Previously, I had been using uh, small cardboard photo boxes that you can get at Michael's Craft Store, that sort of thing. Inexpensive, uh, they were a, a good fit for the seed packs, but there was no real way to organize them that I found so that I could see exactly what I had. I found that I was ordering a lot of duplicate seed packs, stuff I already had and just didn't know because my seeds were all a mess. So I saw in a Facebook group that I'm a member of, someone had used one of these craft or photo storage boxes. I ordered one on Amazon and figured I'd give it a shot. So far, it's been great. This was, let me get my all my specs. This is sold by Iris USA Inc. I R I S. This is the Iris Extra Large 4x6 Photo Embellishment and Craft Keeper. Uh, it was $21.99. It was prime, so it was free shipping, and I got it in just a couple of days. So let's go over what's inside the box. Inside the case, there are 16 individual cases. Sorry, this one's a little dirty. It's been out here in the greenhouse. They seem to be really sturdy. And uh, the Baker Creek, their seed packages are a little larger than the norm. And they fit perfectly inside. So what I did is with 16, I have a, can do 16 different categories. I used my label maker. And I labeled each one. This one is for tomatoes, one for herbs, peppers, hot peppers, sweet peppers, you get the idea. And inside each one I used a 4x6 lined index card and I made sort of a inventory. So for my tomatoes you can see I have this many different varieties in the pack. As I use them up I can line them out or as I buy more I can add more. It just lets me know with a quick glance exactly what I have. And you can see the size of the Baker Creek seed pack. It fits perfectly. There's still some extra room in here. This is a pack of Mary's heirloom seeds. It fit, fits well. It, there, she has smaller packs with her seeds. And then some just the cheap you get at the big box store, those fit as well. So I'm able to see at a quick glance exactly what I have. I'm able to keep all of the different varieties separated. And I do have a, a, a feeling that before this season is over, I'm going to need to buy another one of these boxes so I can separate my seeds out in even more narrow categories for tomatoes, such as having a... a one of these containers just for slicers, one for uh, canning tomatoes, one for grape and cherry tomatoes. Same for the herbs. I can separate them down by cooking herbs, medicinal herbs, that sort of thing. So this seems to be a really great inexpensive way to organize your seeds so that you can really see what you have, keep them separated, keep an inventory on what's in each individual container. The container is sturdy overall. The handle is, they could improve on the handle, I believe, because it both sides look exactly the same. If you grab this top side, this locks it. If you accidentally grab that, pick it up, the whole lid could flip off, dumping everything onto the floor. So they could improve on making the handle not look exactly like the closure. Yeah, I have dumped it a few times already. But other than that, it's a really good way to store your seeds. Hopefully this has helped you guys to find an inexpensive way to organize your seeds. I appreciate you watching. If you can give me a like, please subscribe. I'll have more videos coming out in the future. Right now I'm planning on doing about one video a week. I have lots of topics written down. Hope to get the greenhouse tour done pretty soon. I'm working on installing solar. I'll do another video on that. And we have some ventilation going in. So there's another idea for a video. But you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.